What's going on guys, Good 40 Brothers here for another video and as you can tell by the title of this video, um, we had to take our E55 AMG with 406,000 miles, we had to take it to the Giant Guard. Oh my god. It's not something we wanted to do, but uh, we kind of had to. Yeah. As you can tell, it's not, okay. not in the garage where it's normally at, but um, well. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna So that's, be, that's because it, that the car is, it's right here. Yes. And uh, so uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'll let Matt explain the story and yeah, tell you what, what happened. Like, it's, this is legit not clickbait. No, it's not it's clickbait. Not we we did take it so, to the junkyard. Uh, yeah, so it was actually there all week and we just got it back today. You know what, let's, just, let's roll with it. Please. Yeah, we'll go. And uh, we just got it back today and. Let's uh, go this way so you can see it. It looks look. good. The light right now looks real good. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, tell you what, it wasn't that dirty there, look. It's yeah, a little dusty. It's a little dusty, but. Nonetheless, you guys are probably wondering what the heck's going on over here. Is this true? Is it clickbait? You're probably thinking all oh, thumbs it's down. It's kind of clickbait, but I mean, it was at the junkyard. Yeah, yeah. So this, was this, that this, this is what happened, right? So you guys know the car needed new engine mounts, uh, transmission mount, the thermostat, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And uh, so the dealership quoted us about two thousand dollars to take care of that. And we went to two independent mechanics, and they both quoted us around nine hundred, around nine hundred, eight fifty, yeah. nine hundred. One was maybe a little bit higher. And we're like, you know what, this, this is just a little bit too expensive because we talked to other people and they said that's easy work, it shouldn't take that long. So uh, I was like, you know what, we're going to take care of the thermostat ourselves. You know, we watched the videos and it looked like it was pretty yeah. easy. But uh, so, so we were like, you know what, we know a really good mechanic at a, a local junkyard. The owners of the junkyard. The owners yeah. of the junkyard. You, we know them and they do really good work. So we're like, yeah. you know what, let's, let's just call them and see what they could do for us. Yeah. And um, they're like, yeah, we could take care of that, no problem. So uh, actually, we ended up having to do the uh, thermostat too. So yeah. they took care of the thermostat. What happened was we called and asked how much yeah, it was going to, you know, we're like, well, how much is it going to cost us? We're trying to look around and they're like, don't worry yeah. about it. We're going to give you a fair price. So we're like, okay, we're going to take it. And... Can't be worse than a deer ship. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. anything, anything going to be cheaper. Yes, yeah, so we had them take care of that. We dropped it off Monday, just picked it up today. And uh, so they took care of the engine mounts, the thermostat, the transmission mount. And then we had that then, miscellaneous um, um, a little hose yeah, that corroded. Yeah, there was a hose on the radiator. I, I was, I thought, is it a bleeder hose or something? I don't know, it was $70. We'll show you, we have the part in the garage, but uh, it was a $70 part that they had that replaced. And so uh, all in all, we went from, let's put this in perspective, $2,000 from a dealer. Parts and labor. Now, now obviously that's including parts. Then independent mechanic with two independent mechanics. They both, labor. They both quoted us a nine hundred just for labor, not including parts, just labor. Uh, we we got this done all at this mechanic for three hundred and forty. What three forty eight? Car looks good right now. What was it three forty eight? No, it's three forty. Three hundred and forty dollars for labor. Yeah, just for and, labor. and the part, the hose, the hose was seventy dollars. Yeah, I think what was the the labor was uh what two the two seventy two hundred and seventy bucks I think it was plus the seventy dollar part for the hose. Yeah. Yeah. So so basically. The quote that we got for 900 and some dollars from the other two mechanics, we got it all done for 240 some dollars. Yeah, so That's what I'm talking about. Our total That's savings. What was our total investment? Like 500 some dollars? Yeah, with parts, we were at about 500, I think 570 some dollars. That's not bad. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, that's really cheap for all that work. You can't be. So, if you guys saw our Instagram, we said we took it to the junkyard. We were in line. That, yeah. There's a reason why we took it to the junkyard. I mean, that was a huge saving. Yeah, so it sat there all week. Oh my God, it was miserable not having it. Still kind of, it's kind of dusty. You can see out of yeah, there. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you. But it's here it now. Place. And um, that's that. That's why. That's exactly why I was at the. Um, Junkyard. junkyard so not clickbait like i said but it was there we should show them the hose maybe the engine mounts yeah we're gonna show, we'll show you guys that we'll show right now all right matt go sh show them what we got in the park show them what we got going on down here so this is not a plug we get all of our stuff from scp euro in case you guys are wanting because they're a lifetime warranty on everything they should but, um, sponsor us it'd be nice yeah it would be nice because we spent thousands over there lately but um here's that little hose we we're talking about from the bottom of the radiator it was completely corroded so they replaced it i don't even know what and i guess called. i guess this is another new one it came with two in the pack Oh, you Did know what? No, no. This that's is, the old one? That's the old one, yeah. Oh, what, what's it say on it? I don't even know. It just looks clean. Well, it was corroded. The bottom completely snapped off. There it is. So, um, we got a new one of those. 70 bucks. Of course, you know, it's Mercedes brand, so it's going to be expensive. So, they replaced that for us. If I can even get it in there. Look at this. Got some technical difficulties over here. Look at this. Just throw it back in there. Hey, what's going on over here? Man. Slack, I'm about to fire ass. Crazy, I got antifreeze on my hands here. I'm about to fire ass. My hands in your face now. I got antifreeze over there. Of course, I'm going with the genuine Mercedes um, coolant. It's that blue stuff. I'm not going to mess around with the knockoff garbage. Uh, we'll show you guys. I'll just show you guys everything. What the heck? Here is the transmissions mount. The old one. Just yeah, we were told it was pretty weak. So, uh, went ahead and replaced it. It was literally 20 bucks, $20. And we, we didn't go with genuine with uh, Mercedes for these parts. We went for. What is this, Lem Forder, I think, because they're supposed to be a really good brand, and I mean, 20 bucks, what the heck, might as well. Um, there's that, here's the thermostat. This one, we did go genuine. Here's the old thermostat, you guys can take a look at that. It's really dirty, not a whole lot to see here, but that's that, it looks like there's a little gasket or something in there. Um, 
All right, now onto the engine mounts over here. One, one of them was yeah. way worse than the other. Like it was terrible. Here's one of them. Let me see. Actually, this is this this one was the one. It's not that bad. Scan it on it so that way you can see like focus in. Yeah. Is it focused? Yeah, it's focused. You can see where it's like all started to deteriorate, like crack a little bit, and uh, it was just kind of weak. So we replaced that. But the other one is a really bad one. I want to show you guys that one. That one is just straight nasty. Let's see here. Put them in the box. I keep the box for that warranty. So you get the viral fast. Good nice luck. It looks good. Look at that lighting. That looks nice. Damn. I'm thinking about getting some new wheels on it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Tell us what kind of wheels we should go for. Um, now here's the nasty one. This is the other engine mount. This one was completely shot. I mean, look, look, look at the bag. Look, it's actually leaking in there. Look, there's oil everywhere. Let me see. I don't even want to take it out of here. Look, just put the camera down in there. Look. Yeah, we'll just. It's like a whole bunch of nastiness. Can you right. zoom in on that? I mean, you, you can see it literally, it just busted right open. Yeah. Oil everywhere. So it was straight nasty. And like, I think that's what that leak was underneath because we had the oil leak of the car fixed, but it kept dripping some, uh, something. We didn't know what it was. So I'm assuming it was probably that. We think that. Probably. That's what it was. Oh my God, our car looks nice right now. This is good lighting. Oh yeah. It's like those, you know, those basic girls on Instagram have to get that good lighting. You get that good lighting. That this is a good lighting for a car. Look at this. My hands are all dirty now. I got it's kind of cold. Let's finish this. Let's finish it up. Let's wrap this up. I'm going to go put this in the garage first. I'll we'll wrap it up. All right. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to look at the car again. Damn. 406,500 miles for anybody that wants to know. 406,499. Show me the soundtrack. 406,499. Man. We're going to drive around later on. I'm going to put some it's kind of dirty right now because there's people, you know, it's muddy over there. There's the inside though. Show me the gauges. Oh, so is it focused on you or no? There it goes. Show me the steering wheel how nasty that is. We're getting that fixed next time we take it to the dealership. Yeah, look at that. They're going to fix it for, I think, what, 80 bucks? 75 no, bucks? No. Steel. That's the cheapest thing you ever get in this camera. camera's all out of focus today. Look at that. I got the thing it says. Look at that. It's a little dusty though. They must have the windows open. Show them this. Look. Look at this. Look at dusty. Sitting on the lot one. Never touch the paint when your car is dusty. You're gonna scratch it. I can't stand people do that. It was at the junkyard. They, they didn't have it like actually on the yeah. lot. They had it in their shop the whole week. This is kind of subject. You know, you know, it's so annoying when people write like wash me on their cars. Like I don't know why you do that. You write wash me, then you wash it off, then you can see your scratches from your finger. Like that makes no sense. No. Look at this, look at this dust. Oh man. We're actually gonna tint the windows too this weekend. We bought cheap window tint from uh, I forget where, so I'm not gonna plug it. <laughs> it was literally like 35 bucks for the whole car, so we're gonna try. If it yeah. doesn't work, we'll let the professionals do it. Most likely, it's not gonna work. Yeah, maybe we'll make a video on that. I don't know. Should we make a video on that? I don't know. Maybe we'll just have some more content because we're kind of slacking lately. We got three. We got two more videos coming after this. We're gonna give you guys a suspension update on the E550 because so many people are asking for it. Why are you so far in my face? It's not that close. Huh? Get it on it. It's like Bradley Morgan, Bradley Morgan <laughs> step along. Listen, we're gonna do the suspension update on the E550. Let you guys, we'll see. Oh, blah, blah, I can't talk. We'll show, you, <laughs> we'll show you guys the new ride height. And um, another one I'm not gonna tell you about. You just have to wait to see it. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's wrap this up because I'm freezing. All right, let's, let's go ahead and end this because I'm sure cold. E55 in the background. You gotta uh, put it. Let's, let's go, go in there. I want to end this because I'm cold. I want to go to the house. I need a couple of vases of coffee over here. Yeah, cappuccino Ooh. later on. A little cappuccino with espresso. With Show me the E55. Yeah, it looks oh, good. God, that car is beautiful. All right, so um, that's it. That's it. That's all we got for your video. This video, we just want to let you know what we did to the car while I was at the junkyard. And, not uh, clickbait. Not clickbait. I mean, there's a I reason. Think people are gonna go to comments today. These mother efforts. Look at this. Like, we saved a thousand dollars, you know, on on this car from not going to a dealership over or 1, 15, over yeah. oh, fifteen hundred bucks. Maybe it'll pay for the new wheels or something. I don't know. Yeah. What but do you, what do you guys think? What kind of wheels we should get? We get Vossen again. We actually contacted Vossen about getting a pair of wheels or closeout wheels, but they never responded to no. us. What the heck? Yeah, I don't know. We'll I don't know. Now, but so, yeah, that's 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 a, that's a quick story about the fifty five. Uh, yeah. uh, that's that's pretty much it. Check us out on Instagram, the Forty Brothers. That's where most people uh, saw about what happened to this car. We got a lot of messages yeah. from people like, "What the hell happened to the car? Did you guys wreck it or something?" <laughs> so um, now it's here. It's never going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Never. Even if we wreck it, we'll probably still fix it. We'll yeah, buy off the truck it, company or whatever. Gonna, yeah, we'll buy and we'll fix it because you, you know we gotta keep this thing going. Yeah, we already miles. got enough money wrapped into it. Might to keep it now. Get yeah. something out of it. Look at it. Right, as of right now, it's a bad investment. Yeah. So. It's fun though. I love it. But uh, until next time, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. it. We'll see you guys Take in the care. next one. You guys should go check out some of the other videos on our channel. If you haven't, go check them out.